I'm delighted to be here today because I'm a sociologist and I'm interested in establishing the sociology of bridge as a new research field. So this has been a great opportunity for me to meet uh, potential collaborators for the future because I'd like to work with EBL um, NBOs across Europe to develop um, research projects in the future. That The ultimate goal is about um, increasing participation in bridge. There's actually two goals. One is about getting more people playing right across the life course from children, young people, um, you know, middle, middle aged adults, the sort of 40s group who've got more time on their hands now their kids have grown up, maybe a bit more money, and then also the pre-retirement um, uh, group. So I think there's lots of different things we can do with different groups across the life course. Um, but the other goal is to get key messages that we know about Bridge. We know that Bridge is good for you for a whole range of reasons in terms of um, empathy, communication skills, partnership skills, team skills, mathematical skills, but we need to get these messages out beyond the Bridge world and that's another key reason that I want to do research is to publish in academic journals, establish it as a field, publish in also popular magazines, newspapers and get the message out that anyone can play Bridge and it's really an exciting mind sport. I will tell about uh, other science which are connected directly or indirectly to Bridge and how we can use scientific research to promote our game and to offer uh, something in return to our possible sponsors. That's main target of our research, to make our game famous, number one, mind game, building uh, enough big cognitive reserve in brain of elderly and also creating social contacts to take people out from social isolation and loneliness. Thank you.